Hi, welcome back to Gastric Cancer Awareness Month with me, Raquel. So today we're going to talk about total gastrectomy. And why is this important? Because there's really kind of only two reasons why you would get a total gastrectomy. The first one is, number one, you've been diagnosed with cancer, gastric cancer, and they've told you that part of your treatment is they need to get rid of your stomach. And this is your case. I am very sorry. This is really terrible. Please know you have an amazing community here uh, to support you. Uh, the second reason is you have a genetic mutation that predisposes you to gastric cancer. So to further reduce your risk of developing gastric cancer in the future, what you're going to do is have your stomach totally removed to reduce this risk. If that is you, I'm also very sorry to hear this. Totally sucks, but also know that you have a great community of people um, here to support you. I am that latter case. I was diagnosed with a rare mutation that predisposes me to, or I should say predispose me to developing gastric cancer. So I had my stomach taken out in 2019. So what exactly is a total gastrectomy? Well, it's they take out the entire stomach, usually also the lymph nodes and the omentum uh, to just to get rid of all of that. So you have your esophagus here, comes down into your stomach, you have your duodenum, your small intestine, right? And it kind of swiggles around. And then over here, you have this like little chili pepper organ that is your pancreas that secretes um, some digestive juices that will come into play and is important in future videos. Um, so what they do is, you know, they cut here, they cut here, and then they take out the stomach. Now, they're not gonna just connect this little bit directly up to the esophagus, which is the swallowing tube, because then all those digestive juices will just start like going up into your esophagus. So what they do is create like a false limb. So they'll kind of cut over here, bring that limb up and connect it to the esophagus. And then they connect that little floating piece and connect it back down to the esophagus. So that way, when the pancreas secretes the digestive juices, then it secretes it a little bit down lower so that way you're not burbling up into the esophagus and having bile reflux. However, in a lot of cases, you do get bile reflux. And so that will be a future video about what that is and how to treat it. Also, we're going to do another video probably tomorrow. I'll probably be wearing the same outfit because I'm actually going to film it today. Um, where we're going to talk about how to eat when you have a total gastrectomy and sort of why. But anyway, stay tuned. Hope to see you guys later. Bye.